Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the magical world of Pokemon. Last time, we pissed off Kyogre, which pissed off Groundon, which is now pissed off everyone. Those Pokemon fighting Groundon and Kyogre, the two super ancient Pokemon, were awakened from a long sleep and now they are smashing into each other with their uncontrollable energy. Mr. Anderson, you being here now, I'll take to mean that you're prepared to become involved in this crisis. Well then, there's someone that I'd like you to meet. Come with me, please. Right then. Lead on, Stevie Wonder. There is superstitious. The red is on the wall. I have no idea what's going on. Listen, Mr. Anderson, the seeing ground on Kyogre make you think Pokemon are to be feared. But that's not true. Pokemon are really more. Why am I asking you this? You already know. No, I don't, Steve. No, I don't. All I'm saying is if you put on a brown trench coat, I'm running away. Because those guys, they're perverts. Are we going in the keyhole? What's up, Mr. Miyagi? Am I Daniel LaRusso? Is that what's going on here? That's right, get out the damn way. Who lives in a house like this? Okay, here we are. Inside here, you'll find someone named Wallace and Gromit. I think you'll have what's needed to help him. Okay then, buddy. Okay. We are now in the Cave of Origin. I think there's a Cave of Origin in Legia too. I'm gonna let's play that game one of these days. I swear it. Ooh, there's rubies and sapphires on the wall. At least I think that's what they are. Can I steal them? Aw, oh, lame. What's up, buddy? Ah, so you're Mr. Anderson. I've heard tales of your exploits. Hehe. <laughs> my name is Wallace. I was once the gym leader of Cetopolis, but something came up, so now I've entrusted my mentor, Juan, or Jian, whatever, with the gym's operation. Ground on a Kyogre, the two Pokemon wreaking havoc here are considered to be super ancient Pokemon, but there aren't just two super ancient Pokemon. There's one more somewhere. Somewhere, there is a super ancient Pokemon named Rayquaza. It's said that it was Rayquaza that became the two combatants in the distant past. But even I have no clue as to Rayquaza's whereabouts. I bet I know where it is. Mr. Anderson, do you perhaps know where Rayquaza is now? If you do, please tell me. The Sky Pillar. The Sky Pillar? That's it. It must be the Sky Pillar. Mr. Anderson, there's not a moment to lose. We'll head to the Sky Pillar right away. Wallace away, and he's gone. All right, well, I guess we're going there. Okay, I've been surfing around USA for quite a while. I believe the Sky Pillar may be this patch of grass up here above me. Frankly... I don't really know, but I was told it's on Route 131 somewhere, so we must be close. Wait a minute. What the hell is that? That's got to be it, surely. Go, go, go. Please be it. This has to be. Damn your appeal. Come on. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Fluky, but I'll take it. I wonder if we're going to catch Rayquaza now. God, I hope so. It's Wallace. Oh my, I'm terribly sorry, and so you should be. In my haste, I didn't notice I'd left you behind. You dick. I've opened the locked door of the Sky Pillar. Mr. Anson, let's be on our way. What the hell? Earthquake! There's not a moment to waste. We've got to hurry. And we slowly stroll up there, because we're in such a damn hurry. That looks like it's got a face on it. Hmm, the situation is getting worse. Let me guess you're going to leave. This isn't good, and it's raining. The weather distortion is spreading even here. Mr. Anson, Rayquaza should be farther up from here. I'm worried about Cetopolis. I've got to go back. You dick, I knew you were going to do that. Everything is in your hands now. Don't fail us. Would I? Would I do? I'm the main character, okay? Failing just ain't in my nature. That reminds me of Fallout New Vegas, and this is relevant to Pokemon, by the way. Anyone play New Vegas and at the very beginning where you're supposed to see what the ink blots look like? One of them, I swear to God, looked exactly like two Onyxes side by side. I'll put a picture of it in the video somewhere as long as I remember. But holy shit, I seem to be the only person that thought it looked like Onyx. Anyway, I'm very excited. I hope, I really hope we can catch Rayquaza when we get to the top here. And I'm surprised there's no trainers here. I mean, I realize this is an old, abandoned, secluded tower out in the middle of nowhere. But that usually doesn't stop the fuckers. Trainers are normally absolutely everywhere, but then again, I'm kind of okay with that. Because battling trainers all the damn time gets real boring and I see cracked ground. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We couldn't get to the middle door down below, so maybe we have to step on the cracked ground to drop down there. I'm a goddamn genius, it's all coming together. The cocks are turning, albeit very, very slowly. There we go. I'm a frickin' genius, I'm very proud of myself now. So I guess this cracks over here just so we can get back down again. Oh come on Nintendo, why put rocks there? I gotta run around the damn things now. What are you, a Sableye? Pack your bags, son, get on your bike, I don't want you. 
My Sableye's way cooler. Oh, it's a new Pokemon. It's a Bainet. I think that's how you pronounce it. I remember this is Ghost or possibly Dark. I think it's a Ghost. And I've got a feeling it doesn't evolve. Most Ghost Pokemon don't. I don't know why. Will-O-Wisp. That's gonna burn me. Ouch. We'll try and catch a damn thing. One more Dragon Breath. Then we'll throw some balls in its face. Oh, you know you could crit him. Like a complete dick. And now I've got to cure your burn. God damn it, Altaria. Very superstitious. I've got that Stevie Wonder song in my head now. God damn it, Steven. Stop making me think of Stevie Wonder. Okay. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Oh, boy. Are we at the top now? I think so. Amazing. Rayquaza? <gasps> I see him. My god. Right. Let me very quickly save and heal up my Pokemon just in case we are battling him now. Alrighty, I'm ready. Bring it on, Rayquaza. You're mine. Oh, it's all veiny. That's disgusting. Oh, shit. What the hell? I just flew away. God damn it. No! Come back. I want you. Damn it. I guess we got to go back to Sotopolis. All right, let's fly back to good old city and see what the hell's going on. Hopefully Rayquaza is laying the smack down on Groundon and Kyogre because that will amuse me immensely. Oh, I can't move. So basically, he just opened up a big old can of whoop-ass on those guys. I like it. I also like to move my camera. There we go. Anyway, I'm going to heal up my Pokemon, get Sableye back out, and then we will take on the final gym. Alrighty, we are ready. We are freaking ready. I suppose we should talk to these freaks first. God damn it, are you serious? Get the hell out of here, Magic Cup. No one wants shit. What's up, buddy? So the super ancient Pokemon weren't only ground on Kyogre, after all our fruitless scheming and frantic efforts, that one Pokemon's simple action puts everything right again, as if nothing had happened. <laughs> Kyogre and Groundon both flew off to who knows where. The weather in Hoenn has returned to its normal state. Ha! <laughs> Maybe what we were trying to do was something small, even meaningless, to Pokemon. And they are gone. Good. Good freaking riddance. It looks like both Maxi and Archie have gone away somewhere. Perhaps they've gone to Mount Pine to return the orbs. Oh yeah, right, buddy. The evil have just turned good. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Stranson, my eyes didn't deceive me. Thanks to your help, Sotopolis. No, all of Hoenn was saved. On behalf of the people, I thank you. This is a gift from me. Please accept it. And we got HM07 Waterfall. About damn time. <laughs> That contains Waterfall. No, if you have the Rain Badge, a Pokemon that has learned the HM move can force its way up Waterfalls. And where does one get the Rain Badge? You know, don't show. That's right, so you have to beat this Sotopolis Gym Leader when you're set to go step through that door. I was born ready. Get out of my way, jerk ass. What the hell is this ladder for? Oh, it looks like an ice gym. Except there are Waterfalls. Maybe it's both? I don't know. What's this for? Can't we ride the bike up there? No, we can't. Screw you, Dad. I'll use my bike when I want. Well, I guess we have to go up this way then. Are we get slip and slide? Whee! Oh, it's not slippy. It's not slippy at all. And I think I bollocks it up already. Nice. I should teach you how harsh battles can be. Bitch, please. I have seven gym badges. Can you even count that high? You bimbo some a bitch. You have one gold in. Oh, I am petrified. Right. Dragon breath. Die. Come on, buddy. Half dead, not bad. And it's paralyzed. One more hit and you are down because you are terrible. Hey, he's got waterfall. 
Don't go chasing waterfalls, buddy. Listen to the rivers and the something that we used to, because boy, you know, you gotta have it your way or nothing at all. I don't know the lyrics to that song. Why is Goldine still alive? What the hell are you doing, Altaria? What the hell are you doing? Oh, you're strong, I know. Check out my guns, baby. I'll flex them for you. Okay, let's see if we can figure out what we're doing here. Let's try touching the rocks. You never know, that might be it. Okay. I think maybe we have to walk on all of the floor tiles, and I've screwed it up, haven't I? God damn it, yeah, I think that's what it is. Okay. Right, now I think I know what we're doing here. Yes, okay, that's what we're doing. Now, I gotta not botch it this time. I don't think that you have a time limit here. I think you can just stand on them as long as you want. It seems that way. Right, so we want to go left, down, and around, and not screw it up this time. God damn it. Oh. My God. Well, okay then. <laughs> if I screwed up the last one, I'm probably going to screw this one up. Then again, I think I know what we're doing here. I just got to take my time. Not freaking rush. There we go. That'll do it. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Right, so I'm going to go battle the dudes hanging out down below, the freaks in the basement. Heal up my Pokemon, and then we will be ready to take on the gym leader. Okay, we're ready. Let me ask you, did you know? Ah, I should not be so coy. It was I who taught Wallace everything there is to know about Pokemon. Once I had given up my position as the gym leader, in my place I had entrusted Wallace with the gym. However, a compelling reason arose for me to make a comeback. Ah, but enough chatter. Let us begin our match, shall we? Please, you shall bear witness. To our artistry, a grand illusion of water sculpted by Pokemon and myself. You cocky son of a bitch. Oh, oh my god. It looks like Hugh Hefner crossed with an Asian man. And thank god the love disc is only level 41. I was half expecting them to be like 50 or 60 or something. And that I'd have to go train for two hours. And that would suck. So that makes me a happy panda. As does beating the snot out of love disc. Oh, now we're in love. And still Dragon Breath in your face. Do it again. Oh, come on. That's going to confuse me, isn't it? Yep. It's confused and in love. And I still hit you. <laughs> oh, come on. He's got like one HP, man. Such crap. Right, I'm going to put in Tropius because he's obviously going to heal. Just no doubt about that. Your foe's weak. Get him, Tropius. Yeah, there we go. Use the Hyper Potion. You complete dick. You have to want to be some more bitch. Right, we got. Oh, don't confuse him as well. We can use magical leaf. Ah, didn't hit myself for once. And hopefully, we'll kill him. Oh, so damn close. Right, we're gonna do it again. Oh, he's not healing. Interesting. Why are you say ah, excellent. Why are you saving your last potion, you sneaky bastard? It's super effective, and down goes Love Disc. Give me that. Give me that. Give, 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 give me that EXP, and he's got a Celo Green. We know how to deal with Celo Green. You're making me crazy! I'm you! I hate that song so very much. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you, CeeLo Green. Dynamic punch! Excellent, we actually hit. It's super effective. And it's dead, awesome. <laughs> Take that, you horrible music making bastard. Hey, we leveled up to 42 on Sableye. Nice. He's got a Crawdaunt. I am pretty damn certain that is dark and water, so we will stick with Blaziken. I'm gonna freaking kick you in the skull. It's tempting to go with Dynamic Punch, but I really don't trust it to work twice in a row. Right, so he's nearly dead. He's nearly dead. That's something. Crab Hammer. Shit, that's water, isn't it? As I recall, that's a really powerful water move. And he got a critical. Yep, we're dead. You lucky son of a bitch. God damn it. Right, well, at least we can finish him off with Tropius. Providing he doesn't heal. Hint, hint. Don't freaking heal. What does Taunt actually do? Does that just make you keep using the same move again and again or something? I can't remember. Magical Leaf, and now goes Crawdaunt. Mmm, we're gonna be eating crab tonight. Yummy! I wonder if people actually eat Pokemon. If they don't, they probably should. Right, he has a Kingdra. That's Dragon and Water, so we gotta put in our Terrier. This is risky business, because if he's got Dragon Breath as well, or anything related to that, he's probably just going to one-shot me, because he's almost certainly going to be higher level and therefore quicker. Yeah, he's level 46! Shit! Yeah, we're also weak to ice. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're fucked all right, yeah. <laughs> God 
damn you, Altaria! Okay, plan B. We are gonna put in Sableye, and we gotta use Confuse Ray, and hopefully, he will just continuously beat the shit out of himself. And we can get a bullshit victory like that, and he's using Double Team, which sucks. But we do have Faint Attack, so as long as we have that, we can actually hit the bastard. There we go. It's Confused, hit yourself. Let's leave with Shadow Ball, he's only done it once. Come on, buddy. Oh, you dick. Now he's done it twice. And we missed, of course. Right. Time to use Faint Attack. Like a bitch. And of course, he still hasn't hit himself. Not even once. Because they never do. There we go. That damn time. He does the same amount of damage to himself as we do to him. That's disgraceful, Sableye. That's disgraceful. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We get in there, man. This is actually working. Rest. Oh, come on. What the hell? Oh god diggy damn it, our Sableye's confused. Right, switch Sableye out, put in Wilma. Let Wilma take the hit, he'll die, but that's fine. Then we don't have to deal with the confused Sableye. And that's much better. Right, let's put in someone else now. Oh, let's give Blaziken a chance. I know he's weak to water, and we're fighting a freaking King Jar, which is probably not a good idea, but he does hit bloody hard. It's a stupid idea, but let's try Dynamic Punch. He's double teamed to heal, but this... You never know. Okay, it didn't hit. Right, we'll try Double King then. Even that's not hitting. God damn it, man. Come on, buddy. Yes, okay, we've done some damage. God, I hope he's out of rest now. He is so goddamn many, it's ridiculous. Just stop doing it. I just want to kill you. <laughs> you bastard. Right, let's revive Alteria. I think he's our best shot here, because he's like the only guy we have that's got something that's super effective. We have Prince Sableye. Try to confuse him, because that's the most important part. If we get him confused, we stop him double teaming, we stop him hitting us, and he does damage to himself. Very, very handy. Plus, then we might be able to safely put in Alteria. Will you stop beating up my goddamn Sableye? Confuse him. Thank you. Okay. Now, it's risky to switch in Alteria on half HP, but I'm hoping Confusion will do this for us. Tempted to put in Tropius, but no, we'll go with Alteria. Come on, buddy. Hit yourself, please. He didn't hit himself, but at least he didn't use ice. That's the important part. Dragon Breath. Hit yourself now. Come on. Come on. Excellent. That's what we want. Damn it, Altera. Stop missing. Oh, he's so nearly there. Come on. Oh, you son of a bitch. God damn it, man. I hate you so freaking much. Please, Altera. Please. Don't miss anymore. Oh, it's not confused now. Oh, he's using red. Oh, my God. I thought you were out of them. Come on. Kill him before he wakes up. Come on. No! No! Oh, come on, man. This is ridiculous. I can't believe how many goddamn rests you have. Stop missing as well. And we're on one HP. Well, shit. Okay, uh, let's put in Agron. We'll use Agron as cannon fodder just the same way we did with Welma. I think Altaria is our ticket to paradise here. We want to heal up Altaria. Plus, now he's not confused anymore because we switched him out. Now he's full HP. Agron's dead, but that doesn't matter. We have a full HP Alteria. This guy ain't confused no more, but we might stand a ch Oh my god, critical hit! Yes! Finally! Oh my god, thank you! Thank you! Oh, he's got a wish cache now. Okay, that, that can't be anywhere near as hard, surely. You never know, it might have rest. Oh god, please don't have rest. Please don't have rest. Go, Tropius! We're gonna go with Solar Beam here. I'm hoping one Solar Beam will do this guy. And then even if he does have rest, won't make a damn difference. Amnesia, the Dark Descent. Raising his special defense, that's gonna protect him against Solar Beam. That's not good. But it could be worse, I guess. I mean, it could be killing me. He's probably got ice, you would think, since there's a water trap. Hopefully, though, it doesn't. Come on, Tropius, kill him. Oh, don't even close. We're gonna have to go with one more Solar Beam. I don't think a Magical Leaf will do it. Not quite, I don't think. It might, I'm not sure. We'll go with Solar Beam just to make damn sure. Don't you dare rest. I swear to God, I will go absolutely insane. Come on, Banana Chin. We're all behind you. Oh, thank God. I think we've won. Holy shit. I'm going to have to cut some of that out. That freaking Kingdra rested so many damn times, and he kept using potions. Son of a bitch, man. Son of a bitch. Excellent. Very well. You are the winner. You're goddamn right I am. From you, I sense the brilliant shine of skill that will overcome all. However, compared with me or even Wallace and Gromit, you are lacking in elegance. Screw you. Perhaps I should make you a loan of my outfits. Why? Well, I, uh, I wouldn't turn you down. Ha ha ha. 
I merely jest. Rather than my clothes, I shall reward you with this. The rain badge. I feel like slamming my head on the desk. Thank God, man. Thank God, that was insane. Fist pump. Having the rain badge shall assure you the full obedience of all of your Pokemon. To your every command, the rain badge also allows the user to use the HM move waterfall to scale walls of cascading water, and so that you never forget the battle we shared, take this. Trust me, buddy, I'm never, for <laughs> never gonna forget that. That was ridiculous. That contains water pulse. In use, it will occasionally confuse the target with ultrasonic waves. Screw you, Juan. Screw you. Okay, we have our eighth badge. Next time we head to Evergrande City, and eventually the Elite Four. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I always appreciate it when you click on the like button. And I'll see you guys next time for more Pokemang.